fish last night. These are my favorite fish that we kill to eat, I think, a gar, but it needs to be as big as your forearm for I'm gonna mess with it. It's a decent size. We kill them bigger, but this is a decent size. First off, you drop, take you a big 16 penny nail, bust it through the head, <laughs> nail it to this it's a two by six. I mean, you gotta nail him down. Sometimes it helps to nail the tail. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a cut here and a cut. All right, here. I got a pair of Linux 10 snips. These are really good ones. They're built really well. I bought these because we, you know, we cut a lot of these gar. You got to have this. Listen to this thing. I made a little cut right here. It's gonna look like the letter T here in just a second. All we're gonna do is take the meat off the back of this fish along the, the spine across the top. It's like taking the back strap out of a deer. We're gonna get this meat. We're gonna get this meat. Check this out. Sounds good, don't it, Paul? Crunch. Sounds like free food. Paul killed this gar last night. Nice fish. Free food. It ain't all free, you know that. It's most expensive free food. <laughs> it's money well wasted when you both fish, I'm telling you. <laughs> Whoo, son, what a bunch of money. Gas. Money Nick, well wasted. Nick told us last night, oh, it's only three turns. <laughs> We drove an hour and I said, Nick, where are we going? I've been to, we went to Yellow Creek. That's all we're going to tell, tell you. Yellow Creek last night. Three turns and 30 miles later. <laughs> um, it's going pretty good on this one. I tell you what, these 10 snips, if you want a clean guard, buy you these 10 snips. I'm telling you. Paul's seen us. We tried to do one with a knife last year, a serrated knife. Oh, we run like three, three knives doing that. Cut him all the way to the back of his head as far as you can run these 10 snips. All right, here we go. I got Paul to hold the camera since he shot the fish and I'm doing all the work. Here's what we've done. I call it a T-cut. Come across here, come across there, right here at the back of this main cut. Here's the key, guys. Get these 10 snips right down at the bottom, right there at that belly line. That's the best way to tell. Stay right on or just above that belly line. You're gonna make that same cut. Listen to that stuff, it's slow. I mean, it's literally <laughs> harder than cutting that sheet metal we cut sometimes. What I'm doing is getting all this skin. I don't know if you can scale these fish or not. You, you break whatever you're using to scale them with. I guarantee it. Stay there. We about, to, we about up here now. Stay, stay right on that belly line. Make that T-cut up here at the head. I've got him cut across the back. Gotta get on here on this other side. Like the other side. And this next thing I'm gonna show you is what's gonna really amaze you if you've never seen one clean or what's gonna fill this back. You can get your thumb in there. Get a crease going. Get you a good fillet knife. The tip of this knife is pretty sharp. <clears throat> We're gonna fillet this down the sides. We'll get all these cuts made and then we'll come back and show you how to get the meat out. Alright, look. I've got that where that T cut was. Started making these cuts, just like filleting anything. I've got this skin peeled back. Look at the inside of this skin. I mean, it's, it's like armor all the way through. Just take your fillet knife. I've already dulled this in a little bit, and I don't have my sharpener. But I'm, I'll make it through. And you can kind of pull. Hold it board for me, Paul, with your elbow. I don't have but one nail, so I'm too lazy to go to the barn and get another one. <laughs> harder than snake skin. Look how stiff that skin is. It's not even flexible. No bones in it. It's just the way that plating, that armor plating is. All right, here's, you gotta get this knife under this filet meat right here. I'll show you in just a second. And there's no bones in this meat. Everybody thinks these fish are full of bones. Yeah, they are down through there. Look at all those bones. Just like a deer's rib cage. Ain't no bone in that back strap on that deer. That's what's good about these fish. These carp, people eat, eat the carp. We don't like them because they're just bony. And, and like I said, we handle them bloody, slimy fish all the time. You, I can't stomach eating them, but these right here are good. But look at that thing. We'll show you tonight. We might eat that tonight, Paul. It's good and cold. It was 30, about 30 degrees when we come off the water last night. Cold last night. The fish been sitting outside. Feel like it's been in the refrigerator. <laughs> Pretty cut of meat. We'll cut that in two or three pieces. Probably uh, like stir fry, saute it. Throw some veggies in there with it. It's gonna be a good eat. All right, we're gonna do the other side just like it. One more time. Make those cuts, those T cuts. Run down the spine. Make this T cut. Start with you. This is the slowest part. It's just taking your knife and getting under there. Once you get under there, you can get under this part. Fillet it out, top and bottom. 
is what you get. Check it out, Six Paul. It's a bunch of gar eggs right there. That's right where the arrow went through. Is poked, a, punched a hole through the skin right there. You can see that. I saw a few eggs. I thought we'd pull them out and look at them. It's a bunch of eggs in that sack. They're not spawning yet, but it won't be long. They're, the eggs are still kind of hard. They're not soft yet. Man, look at all those eggs. Short nose spotted gar. About to get this one cleaned out. We're gonna eat this one. Sure enough.